Dear congregation, today, we gather to explore the vital concept of holding ourselves accountable in our journey of faith and personal growth. As followers of Christ, we are called to walk in the light of truth, acknowledging our actions, taking responsibility for our decisions, and striving for integrity in all aspects of our lives. Let us delve into God's word and discover the transformative power of accountability in shaping our character and drawing us closer to him. James chapter 5 verse 16. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Accountability begins with recognizing our own shortcomings and weaknesses. When we humble ourselves before God and others, confessing our faults and seeking support, we open the door to healing and restoration. Let us embrace the vulnerability of confession, knowing that God's grace abounds where there is honesty and humility. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 10. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he fathleth, for he hath not another to help him up. God designed us for community, knowing that we are stronger together than we are alone. In accountable relationships, we find encouragement, support, and correction. Let us surround ourselves with fellow believers who will walk alongside us, helping us stay accountable to God's standards and guiding us in the paths of righteousness. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Accountability requires clear standards and commitments. By aligning our actions and thoughts with God's word, we establish a firm foundation for accountability. Let us commit ourselves wholeheartedly to God's truth, allowing his word to guide our decisions and shape our behavior. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 27. But I keep under my body, and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Self-discipline is essential in holding ourselves accountable. Just as athletes train their bodies for competition, we must discipline ourselves spiritually to resist temptation and pursue righteousness. Let us exercise self-control in every area of our lives, submitting our desires and passions to the authority of Christ. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Accountability is not about perfection but about progress and growth. As we hold ourselves accountable to God and others, we embrace the process of transformation that God is working in our lives. Let us trust in his faithfulness to complete the work he has begun in us, knowing that he will guide us to maturity and wholeness. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Regular self-examination is crucial in maintaining accountability. Let us take time to reflect on our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, measuring them against the standard of God's word. Through honest introspection and prayer, we invite the Holy Spirit to reveal areas where we need to repent and grow. Dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude our time together, let us commit ourselves anew to the practice of accountability in our lives. May we embrace the discipline of accountability, knowing that it leads to spiritual maturity, personal integrity, and deeper intimacy with God. As we walk in the light of truth and hold ourselves accountable before God and others, may we bear witness to his transformative power and bring glory to his name. Amen.